So we're back on this website. We're on a tearless maker. Um, we've got a banger in the background for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'm uh, just playing random songs. And um, yeah, we're going to be doing a, a crossover tier list. Uh, I wanted to do a full legend tier list, but I thought I should wait for that until there's like a new patch, right? Because, I mean, right now, it'll just be like my experience that has changed from the last legend tier list. But like, I want the actual meta and balance of the game to change before I make another one of those. So I uh, expect one of those when there is a patch, but um, yeah, we just got this. It shouldn't take too long, probably not, but I thought it's interesting because not only are they like, you know, like they can look cool as well, like whichever it's like skins you might enjoy more, there's that factor, but also some of them are broken, uh, like some of them genuinely give you an advantage. So I thought like, you know, there's, there's different, there's, there's layers to this, so... I'm gonna go through them and I'm gonna rank them by like a mix between how good they look and how I mean broken they are um, as skins. Uh, for example, Heat Blast, I think it's one of the best looking crossovers in the game, but I don't think it's broken. So I kinda like that. And I guess we can start off, but I think Heat Blast has to go S just because it's so sick. Like, I bought this skin just for the blasters let alone the rest of the skin like it's the blasters themselves made this skin s tier but the sigs aren't broken you know the sigs still are it's obvious where the hitboxes are they're not any quieter than ada's sigs really um so all that's fine like the balance of the skin's fine so i mean i wouldn't usually put it s tier then but it's just so cool that i think it has to go s tier i mean honestly it's pretty sick it is pretty sick uh save your woods I don't think this skin's that cool as a skin. But we got a second S tier already. Because it is beyond broken. If you go do a hammer N sig, right? In a game with Xavier Woods, you can see for yourself. <laughs> like, the hitbox doesn't match the animation whatsoever. And it's things like that which kind of make some of these crossovers a bit, like, messed is because when they start messing with sounds and they start messing with, with the animations of them, then it's like, you can't even tell anymore like it, it, where the hit, where the SIG's gonna hit or you can't tell like when the SIG's starting because of like the actual startup sounds, like they're not there anymore. So it's awkward, it's pretty awkward, but this one especially is broken. Um, a lot of the SIGs are just, Sword and SIG 2 is a bit weird, but it's less weird, you know, it's so obvious, I guess. It's just a hammer and zig, really. The, the hitbox, you you wouldn't guess where that hits. Like, maybe the sack of pancakes? But apart from that, it's it's up in the air, wherever that, <laughs> wherever that animation actually hits. So, uh, yeah, this one, I don't think it looks that cool. And the sigs don't make a difference, really. I don't, I don't know the name of the, the crossover. It's a Rayman one, though. Um, these aren't in order of, like the like the crossovers that came out i guess these two are but no they're, they're just kind of in a random order i don't know what this one's doing here i was it was the only one i could find that actually had the the ben 10 crossovers in them it doesn't have the walking dead ones but i don't think any of them do so yeah speaking of ben 10 crossovers diamond head six are fine honestly you know where they're gonna go you know you know the sounds are still just as loud as caspian's um some of them even louder Nothing's too broken on him. So I think he looks cool though, so I'm gonna stick him in B. But he's not that he's not that broken. Uh Plague Knight, same thing. Another Caspian crossover actually. All the SIGs are the same. I think he looks pretty cool though. Um actually I think this is one of the best Caspian skins. Um I think these two actually are. But I think this one's just because I have so much nostalgia from Pen Time when I was like a little kid. Like I used to love it. I, I think nowadays the entire show is a bit tapped. I mean, I, I, I can't say I've been watching any, but uh, just from like images, I guess it, it looks it looks a bit weird. I can't lie, but uh, Rayman, another Rayman crossover. The glow glow box. I'm pretty sure I've actually played a few Rayman games. Uh, they're quite 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 good actually. I can't lie, they're pretty good games. Uh, this sig though, it's not broken at all. But <laughs> I just think the N sig with the tongue and the blasters. And just everything about this skin, it's just it's just better than Cassidy, honestly. Like, if I was to play Cassidy, I'd choose this skin. I think it's just a sick skin. It's not broken, 
but I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna stick it in S. I'm actually gonna order them within the within the tiers. Uh, maybe, especially in S tier though. This is this will probably stay here. I think I can't think of any skin that'd be more broken than Xavier Woods. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's okay so far. Hellboy, I'd want to stick him in S, but if I'm being honest, it's not that good. It's okay. Um, the side sig on Gauntlet is actually really cool, but none of the sigs are broken. All the sigs, you know where they're gonna hit. They look kind. They're pretty much the same as crosses. I mean, actually, yeah, they look the same as crosses. Honestly, the sounds are the same. Um, so it's okay. So I can just go off how it looks, and I mean, I guess the concept. Hellboy. Uh, if anyone's been around this channel for like a long time. I think my, my old PSN name was actually Hellboy from when when I was like, I guess like 10. I used to watch the Hellboy movies on repeat. I don't know why. I love them though. And then I, I made my PSN Hellboy and I was kind of stuck with that for, for years. <laughs> because like it took ages for you to be able to actually change your name on PSN. So um, I got some affiliation with Hellboy. You know? I'd, I'd want to put him here, but I'll probably stick him here. Honestly, he's not that cool. Maybe, maybe even here. Above Barbara? I don't even think it's Barbara. I don't know what the skin's called. But anyway, we've got Lara Croft. Um, these are these are okay. I mean, they're actually really sick. Like, I think the sounds for the blasters, they're, like, they're not broken sounds. Like, they're not a lot quieter than... Um, I guess I should explain why I'm talking about the sound of the SIGs. And it's like... Basically... The way you react to stuff is you react to sound like 10 times fa- Oh, this is a banger. I should honestly listen to like what I'm- <laughs> What I'm playing in the background of these videos before I actually like play the video because I'm getting surprised by how good this- This is YouTube low, like YouTube audio library, you know? It's actually good. Anyway. Um... I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, the sounds. So like you react to sound faster than visual cues, right? So when the sound of a SIG is like reduced or sometimes even just deafened, then you can't react to it, like, as well as you could with the normal skin. So it is literally giving you an advantage using the crossover over a normal skin. There's certain situations where crossovers are louder, though, in which case you're at a disadvantage uh, using the crossovers. But, yeah, I tried to explain that in case you were wondering. But these, I think the sounds are actually really cool on the blasters. Um, lost the SIGs, but it's not a broken skin. I think it's a pretty cool skin though, so I'm gonna stick them both here because they're both literally the same. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Nimue, honestly, the, just the same. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's honestly a really ugly skin though, so I'm gonna stick it in D. Uh, Enchantress, Enchantress, I think it's really cool. Um, I'm kind of torn between. I think we'll put an A just to have our first A tier. Um, I don't know. I think it's a really cool skin, honestly. One of Fate's best skins. Um, Dark Arts too is a really cool Fate skin, but I think I'll put Enchantress in A. Uh, oh, I'm. I know the name, but I don't at the same time. This one's cool. Uh, the the D sig on Spear, or maybe Hammer. The one where she goes back up against a rope, so. It can be confusing, it, it can, but the hip, like the hurt box of the character actually stays on the character, so it's okay, it's not broken, it's just kind of confusing sometimes. Um, I don't think the SIGs are that cool, or, I mean, they're unique, so I don't want to put a too low, but I don't think they're that cool, and they're not that broken, so I think it's just kind of like mid-range kind of, kind of crossover. I think this is really cool, this one. Uh, another Nash crossover. So, uh, is this Becky Becky Lynch? I think I don't know. But this is another Nash crossover. Nothing changes. I think the six change color, and that's about it. But you don't have to look at Nash if you're playing this. So, you know that that's always that's always good. I think all these night crossovers are actually like all the all the shovel night crossovers are actually really sick. Oh, they have um. I mean, this isn't even a crossover, this is just a battle pass skin. I think it's really sick. The six aren't broken, but I think it's a really cool skin, so I'm gonna stick it there. I didn't know it had that. Um, oh, so this is in here too. There's no um, Retro Reaper Nyx, so Retro Reaper Nyx will be asked here just because it looks sick. And the six are extremely quiet. The, the D sig on Scythe as well, you can barely even hear the startup on it. Compared to actual Nyx D sig, 
like the stops are very obvious, but on Retro Reaper, it's not at all. I'd, I'd probably put her in S. Um, John Cena. There's there's one sig that's kind of confusing. I think on um, on Spare it might be. I'm not sure, but all around, it's not that like you don't get much of an like actual advantage using the skin. So I'm not gonna base it off that. I'm gonna base it off actually how it looks. Um, it's okay. I mean, I was never like a big WWE fan, so I don't have that nostalgia that a lot of people will have for it. But at the same time, I like the fire extinguisher and I like the ladder, so <laughs> you can go eat it. Um, Finn. Finn has to be S tier. Let's be honest. Adventure time? Come on. Banging series. Like, honestly, if you didn't watch Adventure Time during your childhood, that you need to go back. You just need to go back. You need to reverse. Go watch Adventure Time during your childhood, you know. Live a little experience a childhood because yeah it was it was it was a sick series the actual six though they're not broken the sounds are fine too so it's all right um i don't know i didn't watch steven universe i don't know the names but it's not oh let's just be honest it's a d-tisk it's not <laughs> it's not the worst but like actually actually hold on hold on i have something to say about this if you go and look at this skin in a training room or anything or even if you own the skin and you do an NSIG on Spear, where does that hit? You'll never guess where that hits. Like, it's it's a bit mad. Like, the hitbox is, isn't apparent at all. You can get hit by that and be like, how'd that hit? Or you can avoid it and be like, how did I not get hit by that? Like, it's really weird. So, I'm actually going to put it in A tier, cause, just because that SIG is broken. Uh, probably, probably bottom A, though. Um, this... Honestly, this used to be, before crossovers were, like, a big thing, this used to be a skin that everyone had. If you played, like, even if you didn't play Kochi, people would buy the skin just for, like, I think it was one of the first animated skins, or, oh, it was the first animated skin, but the first animated weapons as well. So people would buy it just for the weapon skins, and I still think it's really sick, and it reminds me a lot of this Atori one. So I'm going to stick them together. I think that's only fitting. I'll probably put this over the Atori one, honestly. I think it's cooler. I think it's really sick. Forearms. Gauntlet's D Sig. Okay. There's like four or three or four frames, right? Where the hitbox doesn't match the actual animation whatsoever. If you go look at the first few frames of this Sig, uh, down Sig on Gauntlet's, there's hitboxes nowhere near the actual animation. Like, basically, the D Sig is an animation of him hitting the ground and bringing up rubble and stuff. The hitbox is so far away from the actual rubble like it's just a mid-air hitbox where nothing's happening like it's so weird and they haven't done anything about it so i mean it's i mean it has to go oh, it has to go here it's busted honestly um and i think it's a really sick skin you know like the four arms so it's like really unique too uh and also just nostalgia for me um i think it's sick and <laughs> if you've ever seen that 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 break dance the breakdance torn on the skin how weird it looks i think that in itself is like <laughs> good enough <laughs> to put it in us there um we've got another core crossover we've got jake jake's actually free this week as i'm recording this don't know when this will be out it'll still be free though probably i don't know um but yeah so you can play jake test it out yourself none of the things are broken but i think it's honestly just really cool i'll stick with finn I'll probably put it above Finn just because the six are kind of like. Actually, uh, nah, for the car. Like, you can literally, you can whip with the skin. That's. That, that alone, I think, puts it above Finn. But no, they're both really sick skins. Adventure Time, sick. Actually, another Adventure Time skin. We've got, got good old, good old bubble gum. Um, some of these sigs, on Lance especially, I don't think the Blasters sigs are too bad. But the Lance ones are really quiet. Compared to actual Vrax. That were really quiet. I don't think it's like, I mean, not does anyone actually like want to play as Bubblegum. I don't. I don't think so. Like as a skin, it's it's okay. But the the sigs are a bit, you know, on Lance. They're a bit. Um, I mean, I guess I'll put them like, I'll put it like here, just because all of the Lance sigs are really quiet. Daimyo. 
I think it's a really sick skin. Um, but a lot of the animations are really confusing on it. Just because they're so different. Okay, so, like, if we just go off numbers, right? Daimyo is, like, Okay, so if we talk about Mordex, Mordex is the highest play rate legend in the game. Actually, Jay Yon might have overtaken him this season, because great sword. But Mordex, you run into a lot of Mordexes, I'm sure you know. And you'll be getting like really used to Mordex's sigs, the sounds of them, the, like the animations and where the hitboxes like go with the animations and stuff. Like you'll be really used to that. And a lot of those Mordex players don't play Daimyo, right? So when there is a daimyo, and you're so used to the Mordex sigs, it really throws you off. And I think it's a really cool skin too. So I'm going to stick it here. Just because the sounds and the animations are different than the normal Mordex one. And it's a sick skin, honestly. So I'm going to stick it in S tier. Um, it's kind of... See, like these two skins, there's nothing broken about them. But they're really cool, so that's why they're up here. Whereas these two... They're just kind of broken, um, so I don't know. I think I should put it here, honestly, based off that. Also, I don't, the heads are literally cut out in this, in this tier list. I mean, still, um, uh, th well, I was going to say shout out to Has NVH on, on Twitter. I actually think he's in dire. I'm not sure. Uh, Spec the Knight. Spec the Knight's cool. If we're being honest, it's a sick skin. Put it in S just for that reason. And um I mean the SIGs are exactly the same as Nix's, the sounds are exactly the same as Nix's, it's just the colours that are different. And I actually never even knew that because I didn't like I never played I have a level 50 Nix and all 50 of those levels are on Spectre Knight. Um <laughs> when I started playing this game and started maining Nix, I thought Nix was just clapped. So I dropped Nix. Um, to play Spectre Knight. Like, I just straight away bought this crossover. I was like, I don't want to look at Nyx when I'm playing a... It's just an ugly character. And, um... I'll, uh, I'll just... I'll pick up the Spectre Knight instead. And I got used to the colours being, I think, red. So then seeing Nyx's six be purple, I used to be like, why are the six different colour? And then I realised, oh, because I'm using a crossover. Never even occurred to me. Um... Uh, <laughs> we got Black Knight. Black Knight. All these Knight skins are so cool. But the SIGs aren't like any di like any different. They're just recolored, same as Nyx's and same as all the uh, Shovel Knight skins. So I'm gonna put him in A. I think it's a really sick looking skin, but nothing broken about it. Um, maybe I'm being biased over the Nyx, but it's at the bottom of S tier, you know, you can give me that. Uh, I mean, I guess. I'll put it at top of A. I'll put it at top of A. Because it looks really cool. This? Who is this? Also, I think it's a Queen Nye skin. And who's Queen Nye? This, this, like, actual SIGs are just this exact same as Queen Nye's. Um, the, the guitars are kind of cool, I guess. But the skin's kind of ugly. The, the, the SIGs don't really make a difference. So, I mean... He can go there. Or she can go there, even. I don't know why I said he. Um, the Rock... I mean, it's not bad. It's a cool skin, you know, it's a rock. But, nothing broken about the SIGs. I might put him like here. It's just kinda alright. There's nothing, not very much going on. Um, King Knight. It, it looks cool, but once again, there's, there's nothing else really going on. I'll probably put him, oh, I think it's an injustice to put him Hmm. We'll go there. We'll go there. You know, actually, I think it looks cooler than Shovel Knight. <laughs> That's all that has to be said. Or not said, I guess. We've got Roman Reigns, or half of Roman Reigns. <laughs> uh, Roman Reigns, okay. No one actually, like, I mean, the skin, actually, to be fair, it looks kind of cool. I think the axe looks cool. Um, you're actually, this sig... I mean, down, like, this character, the down sig on Axe, it has a noise during the startup. Like, during the actual first few frames of startup, this sig has a noise, whereas the ter actual Terrorist down sig doesn't. So, <laughs> you, uh, like, 
it's actually going to be harder for you to hit a down tilt on Roman Reigns than it is on normal Terrors. Because you can you can hear sound during startup, which is obviously, like I said, that's how you react to startup. You can't react to it on Terrors because it's not there. But it's there on Roman Reigns, so I don't know why you play it. Um, I, I don't think I want to put him down there with all these, so I'm, I'm going to put him bottom C. Undertaker, S. The SIGs, you can, ba even though they don't look any different, you can barely hear them, honestly. Compared to actual four SIGs, and this is why anyone who plays four will be playing, like, or like in tournament. If you ever see anyone in tournament playing four, they'll be playing Undertaker. Just because of how bro like, brokenly quiet the SIGs are. Um, I'll probably put him up here with all the, with all the, the, the decent, actually, above Daimyo. Because it's quite cool as well. I mean, it's Undertaker. Um, Macho Man. I think he has to go up here with all these as well. Because the SIGs. Oh, okay. Down SIG on Lance being one of them. Also, this this, this song. Um, I'll try and leave all the songs in the description because some people sometimes people ask. Um, or I guess like if I see any comments asking for a song, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to find them. But honestly, once I finish recording these videos, the songs are like lost to time. So I'm sorry about that, but... Shazam's your friend, you know? Um, anyway, Macho Man. Down sick on Lance, it looks like all, all it is on actual Macho Man, right, is a couple of sparks. Whereas on, um, what's on Orgrim, it's an entire red glowing chainsaw. Like, it's a bit of a contrast, you know? Uh, um, also, like, just the things are really quiet. Uh, some of them like don't have any sound during startup, whereas the organ ones do. It's, yeah, I don't know. And the actual things are really different to organ, so it throws you off a lot. There's just flying chairs everywhere, so I'm gonna put them up there. Just, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool looking skin too. Um, the song's actually a banger. You know what? You know what? Do you want me? Do you want me to do you a lot of favor? Let's see. What's it called? Slug Love 87 by Rachel K. Collier. There you go. In case anyone was wondering. <laughs> um, anyway. What's next? Stavoni, I think. Something like that. The Sigs. Can't be pretty confusing, but I think actually it's only really Gauntlet Side Sig that can throw you off. And I don't think it's that cool either. Um, and I might be offending some Steven Universe fans there, but. I'll put them uh, bottom of B. I mean, actually, no, because they've got actually like a difference in SIGs. So I guess they've got to go A for that. But I'll put bottom of A. Amethyst. I actually think it's a SIG skin, even though, like, I've never watched Steven Universe. Um, the SIGs have a lot of differences to them and are a lot quieter, especially down SIG on Canon. So they've got, like, you know, she's got that going for her. And also, just like, Natural six, pretty, pretty cool. The even the ones that aren't broken, like the whip ones, I, I wouldn't say they're too broken, you know? They're, there's nothing too different about them. But they're just cool. Like they make like, like a whip noise, like the classic like cartoon whip noise. It's quite, it's it's an alright skin, you know? Um, probably above, yeah, I'll put them there. Oh, I don't want to put it above Daimyo. That's just bias, but yeah, that's, that's how it is, you know? Uh, <laughs> What's oh boy? It's the name. I know this this name of the skin because everyone uses it, but I don't know at the same time. Anyway, this crossover for Petra. It doesn't really have anything going for it in terms of like being broken, but I think it's a really cool. Like the actual sigs are really cool, and oh, hmm. I feel like this this entire row is a bit like tapped because I have sigs like skins that look cool up here. But they don't really, they're not broken. No, you know what? I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I don't care. I'll put it above Bubblegum. Oh, and this, that was the last one. Because for some reason, there's just Ulgrim. <laughs> okay. Sure. Can we, can we... There, there we go. Um, can I, can I edit it? There we go. Okay, anyway, that has been my list, my crossover tier list. I hope you lot have enjoyed. Um, if you have, leave a like, you know, I'd appreciate it. It helped me out a lot. And uh, 
yeah, leave suggestions of what you want to see me do next. If there's any other tier list you want me to do. I was thinking about doing a color tier list, but I thought this would be more interesting because there's actual gameplay stuff involved in this. It's not just cosmetic. And um, yeah, if you skip to this part in the video, and you're wondering what's going on down there. <laughs> don't blame you. But um, <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you lot in the next video. And peace.